from Studio 46. This is CBS 2 News. All right, still to come here at 5, the amazing new test that prevents multiple births during in vitro fertilization treatment. Find out how this works. And a bit an exciting breakthrough in in vitro fertilization is being reported today in Boston. It's a way to ensure the genetic health of your baby and prevent the multiple births that can happen with IVF. CBS 2's Dr. Max Gomez here now with the details. Christine Maurice, multiple births, twins, triplets, and sometimes more, are a byproduct of transferring multiple embryos into a woman's womb to try to maximize the chances of at least one implanting and leading to a pregnancy. But multiple births pose serious health risks to the babies. Here's how doctors are avoiding the problem. They make a big media splash, Octomom, Kate Gosling, and others having large multiple births. But fertility experts consider these cases a profound failure of IVF because any multiple birth, even twins, run significant health risks. Twins have twice the risk of dying uh, in the first month of life. They have six times the risk of cerebral palsy. Carla Kecklerys feared those multiple births with IVF, but she had no choice. Two ectopic pregnancies had destroyed both her fallopian Tubes. So she volunteered for a study at Reproductive Medicine Associates of New Jersey that led to the birth of her son Bennett and just Bennett. It would give us the ability possibly to eliminate having a multiple pre pregnancy which was a little scary for us. The reason most embryos don't result in pregnancy is that they're genetically yeah. abnormal and you can't tell they're defective by looking at them under the microscope. Even in your 20s as many as 20 to 25 percent of embryos are chromosomally imbalanced. That number is 85 to 90 percent by the time you're in your early 40s. So Dr. Scott and colleagues devised a test to analyze the chromosomes from the part of the embryo that was destined to become the placenta, which is genetically identical to the part that would become the fetus. The fetus is unharmed. That allows a transfer of just one genetically intact embryo and therefore no multiple births. Better yet, as Carla found out with Bennett, the odds of having a baby with this one embryo technique actually go up. Those embryos produce a baby, a live-born healthy infant, roughly two out of three times. Genetic screening has been around for years for diseases like cystic fibrosis or sickle cell. This is about screening all embryos to make sure they have the best chance of creating a pregnancy and preventing multiple births. The study was presented today at a major IVF conference in Boston. Maurice? All right, Doc, thank you.